rushing into flames to save a neighbor, then braving the burning home for a second time. And I even told these guys, I said, if you've never prayed before in your life, pray now. And then I went back in. And it is that final trip that turned one woman into a hero. Laura Borchers is in Circleville with what sent that woman running straight into danger. Laura. This home was completely covered in flames. And thanks to the actions of a very brave neighbor and the homeowner, all four people inside are now safe. I want to take you a little closer to the charred home with a little video we have here. It was after midnight when the neighbor, Lisa McNary, awoke. She said she heard her dog Brutus barking and she looked out and noticed her neighbor's home was on fire. She rushed over to make sure that everyone was awake and getting out. And I spoke also with the homeowner, Richie Greeno. He said he realized his home was on fire. He ran out and grabbed the garden hose first, but when he got a look at the home, he knew it was too late. He ran back in to make sure his wife and 10 year old child got out. He noticed his neighbor was also running into the smoke and flame filled home, trying to help an elderly man, Charlie, who's staying with the family. Despite a shoulder injury, Greeno said he reached for Charlie's hands. He was on the ground and with the help of his neighbor, he pulled Charlie from the thick smoke upstairs and outside. Just, I don't know. It was just an act. It was like something told me just to go back in. Don't leave him there. Just go back in. You can get him. So I did. And, you know, it's, I couldn't leave him there. Just, you, can't, you can't listen to hear somebody cry for help. You got to go in and help. It's just certainly a situation you never think you're going to find yourself in. Now, we've been checking on Charlie, the elderly man who was pulled from the home. He was taken by medical helicopter from this scene, and we're told he's hospitalized. He's getting care as we speak, and his injuries are very serious. In Circleville, I'm Laura Borchers, 10TV News.